As kids get older, hitting off the tee becomes boring. To have them focus more while they're, while they're hitting off the tee for proper batting techniques, a great drill to perform is the fence drill. My name is Zach Roper with InsideBaseball.com and this is how we do the fence drill. When performing the fence drill, what we want to do is we want to grab a, about a one and a half inch dowel here. So it's like a, almost like a broomstick handle. And what we're going to do is we're going to have the player set up at the tee. And what I like to do with my players is the first thing I do is put it down on the ground, right? We want to line their feet up straight. There's going to be some basic things we always want to do with hitting, and that's to have our feet lined up straight when we're hitting, right? So from there, you can hand the player the dowel or the bat. We want to make sure the hands are touching always. Um, one thing I like to always reiterate when I'm putting the ball on the tee is to give them a spot to focus on, right? So that's what this whole drill is about, focusing on the right techniques. When we don't want players to just get up there and, and, and rear back and swing as hard, we want them to have an idea of what they're doing. So I always will tell my players to get their hands, start with their hands back, focus on a part on the ball, and then watch the ball, watch the bat hit the ball with two eyes. And this is how we do the fence drill. Go ahead, rear back, go ahead, start with your hands back. Hands touching, there you go, good job. So you can never reiterate the basics enough, right? We want these kids to have good form while focusing on what they're doing, right? So Austin, let's get our feet straight. Hands are touching, hands back, and I want two eyes on the ball while you're coming through. There you go, good job. And you can never reiterate the basics enough with this age group. The more you say it, the more they're gonna retain it. Don't ever feel like you're saying it over and over again for them. If you get them to focus on two of those three each drill, you're making progress. And straight. There you go, good try. So as you see there, he had his feet straight and his hands back. His hands weren't touching, but like I said, I want him to focus on certain things that he's doing. If I give him too many things to do at one time, it can become overwhelming for them. Ready, Austin? All right, hands touching, All right? Get your feet straight and start with those hands back. Good try, good try. All right, get those feet straight. Hands are touched, right? Two eyes on that baseball, right? Watch that baseball the whole way. There you go, good job. We're touching, hands are back, there you go. That's all right. Hey, two eyes right here, focus on that little hole right there. Try to hit that hole. Good job, Alex, that a boy. How'd that feel? Good. Feel good, good job. So these are some of the basics that we do with the fence drill. It's a drill that has the, the actual players focus on four to five key points of hitting, but gives them an idea of what they want to do when they're hitting off the tee. We don't want them to just go up to the tee and think, put the ball in there and hit it as hard as I can. That's how you can perform the fence drill with your players. So we want to remember those five points right there. We want to look at their feet, we make sure they're straight, we want to make sure their hands are starting back, make sure their hands on the bat are touching. We want to get them to focus on one part of the ball and swing hard all the way through it, right? We use a dowel like this because it just changes up what the game is. When they're using a normal bat, it's the same old, same old. When you introduce something to the young players that's different, it can build a little bit of excitement and get them to hyper-focus a little bit more on what they're doing. My name is Zach Roper for InsideBaseball.com.